welcome back to my channel so a lot of you guys have requested that i make a video on a web-based application so how you can actually design some web-based app in figma so i've actually come up with something but this is not my intentions of what i actually wanted to teach you guys the whole concept around this was just linked to the previous video that I actually shared which was the mobile app the runway mobile app I actually taught you guys how to design such admission in Figma so here is the original file this was what I actually made first before I came up with that idea of how to actually make it responsive on a mobile app but this was just the original idea so i'm going to be walking you through step by step on how you can actually recreate this in figma i'm going to also show you all the places that i get some of these high end images and i hope you guys can stick around to learn all the things you need to learn so please if you're new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button because i'll be dishing out some videos like this on advanced high-end prototypes so if you want to learn anything about figma prototype here is your best stop so always hop up to my channel and be rest assured that you're going to actually get your hands on advanced prototypes so I'm going to teach you on how I actually created this in Figma. So to get started, I'm just going to show you the file. So here is the original file of the runway app. So if you've not actually watched a video on this runway, the mobile version of this design that we're going to teach today, please go back and watch it so you can actually flow uh, along. And uh, this is the web version and i'm going to show you how i actually created this so this images was actually gotten from gucci website so um i think uh, they are the ones that originally owns these images and uh, if you want to get some of these images you just have to go to any online fashion store to get this as long as it's just for tutorial sake you're not trying to you know <laughs> do anything fraudulent with it but yeah so i've gotten some of the images and these are all the images that i have for this project and i've actually cropped it so i removed the background and uh, here also is the matching outfit for what this guy is actually modeling so this guy this is the t-shirt and this is the bottom of what he's wearing i couldn't find this jacket so hence the reason why you didn't see it i had to use something similar but i linked this with this one so the idea is that if you scroll up the person wearing it will actually slide further now is a bit tricky but it's very pretty much very easy to do in figma and uh, if you actually want to understand this more i will recommend you watch the video the mobile version so you actually get some of the things that some of the tricks that actually went behind this scene so i'm going to start with recreating this header first so i'm going to recreate this header this is just basically text that i use so i'm just going to pick it out so it's just text so we're going to build on top of it so to make sure that we create exactly the same thing and uh, the name of the font is jacques francois uh, i hope i pronounced it right so i'm just going to type search and i'm going to convert this to inter inter is just going to be the primary font that we'll be using i recommend using inter because it makes your work neat and uh, i stick around with it a lot so i'm just going to reduce this to 16 then add auto layout press shift a to add auto layout so if you're also using windows do the same thing shift a to add, add auto layout so we're going to open this up and take it to the left so i'm just going to set this to 55 and uh, give it a corner radius i didn't have okay i have a corner radius on this so i'm just going to set it to five 
then few days i've set some color variables that i used on this project so if you're new to my videos you have to go and watch the video where i made that i made about how to create some figma color variables so i'm going to pick the background for this so i'm just going to set it to neutral 550 we're going to get the search icon so to get the search icon right click go to plugin and uh, i'm going to use feather icon i use feather icon and iconify a lot i would greatly recommend so search so i'm just going to pull this out and once it's out we are going to move it into this place so because it's an auto layout it actually aligns by itself so come here and set this to auto now we're going to give a padding of 20 because currently it's just 10. to come here and reduce the uh, color of this one don't want it to be too black so we just tie to the color variables of grade 200. so fair enough this is on semi board i'm going to set it to regular and uh, yeah we can actually set this to 50 and we just have to type in our title man and i'm going to duplicate it i'm just going to actually make it a corner um, at another layout so now i'm going to duplicate so duplicate and duplicate and duplicate and duplicate so here we would have runway and this one we're going to have woman for this we say kids for this we say home and here would say perfume i'm going to set this to login and we're going to say shopping bag with nothing inside that's the mean of the zero there so here we're going to find this icon this was actually gotten from iconify and this also was gotten from iconify so if you want to get this icon go and download iconify to get to download iconify you just go to this place and just search for plugin iconify look at it here so i'm just going to pick this icon duplicate it bring it inside this one and i'm going to do the same thing for this duplicate and bring it inside here now that we have it i'm going to select all of them and add auto layout so once you add auto layout everything will automatically align and here i'm going to set everything here to fill right then this one i'm also going to set it to fill so once you have this this is fill this is fill let's see if there is so i'm going to change this to zero so there won't be um space in between them so for this guy this is on fill and this is also on fill but the issue here is that we can actually set this to hog and this one is still okay so here we can increase this and select the whole of this and add auto layout so once this is done make sure it's on the center i'm going to set this to automatic so what's the width of this one is the width is 1794 so basically we are going to be using a different width maybe so i'm just going to go to my frame and select desktop so i'm just going to pick uh, macbook pro 16. so that is it here i'm going to design right inside my section so once that is done pull this guy inside then stretch yeah so once you have that stretch i'm going to give a pattern of 20. So now we have um, this. So we're going to give um, this. This is also going to be set to fill. 
the reason why i'm setting it to fear is because of that arrow this truck here that's why so i'm just going to give it a stroke then set it to only to be at the bottom now i'm going to set this to three fair enough and tie this to black so once that is done i'm going to i'm actually going to get this stuff a frame i'm going to get a frame here that's one no this frame is not inside i'm just going to delete it set the frame make sure that it's inside this but if it doesn't want to go inside you just have to copy it delete then and just paste it inside so this is the frame we're actually going to pick and i'm going to give it a fill of 50. yeah so this stays like this and we give room for the scroll so we have it like this right so it's looking like very minimalistic background i don't like things clustered up just trying to maintain some form of clarity in my designs so here i'm going to draw another frame here so this would be another frame i duplicated it's press ctrl d i'm just going to swap this like this look at it here so this one we actually is going to set it to white so this one will be at white so for this one we're going to add this just tiny stroke and set it to just to demarcate things to make sure that everything is fine <clears throat> now that we have this like this i'm going to show you one more thing this is just basically an arrow and uh, this look uh, 22 we're just going to type it look i think everything was on capital letter so look 22 so this actually is bold so we can actually increase this to i'm going to set this to 20 then add auto layout so once it's on auto layout just duplicate it and set this one to shop the look so this would now be a few of um, black and this would now be white so once you have this you just have to match two of them together then give a stroke set this stroke and tie it to black so once you have this done we can set this to fill and also set this to fill there is a gap between them we just have to remove it then this guy will be fill this can get a 20 pardon so when we stretch this we have enough space here so that's it so i'm just going to call this probably cta um so just put it here put it somewhere here and we're going to get this arrow so this was actually got some from feather icon so set this arrow i'm just going to use a different arrow this time around so basically use something that looks like this so bring it in into this frame make sure it's inside this frame so this is how you will know that it's inside a frame then here we're going to use this to align it to the center so this is the center of this frame we might actually tie this and increase this to 40. then make sure it's still in the center get this aligned with this one yeah so everything is properly aligned now so now the next thing we're going to do is to just lift this so this is just a basic text 2024 uh, spring collection we work with monitoring programs to ensure compliance with our social blah 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 blah, blah, blah. so it's just a normal text so i'm just going to pick it up and put it here um, now we have uh, something that looks similar but this background is a bit 
somehow but i prefer this so now it's time to stack these guys up and i'm going to show you how i actually got this image so, so to get this image i'm just going to get get a sample one and show you how i did that so pick this image to go to this place so i've used this gucci for an example i'm just going to right click and just say copy image come back here and paste so here is the image that you copied i'm going to literally just reduce this to 1200 so we'll have it at 1200 the next thing you're going to do is just to right click go and get this plugin uh, icon 8 background remover and say remove background so it's definitely going to work on the background and remove it then leaving only this guy so wait so it works its magic i'm going to recommend you to reduce the size of the image before you can actually crop so you reduce the crop time so here the image is cropped so we're going to actually do something further go to this place set the crop tool and reduce it there's a reason why you are doing this because we don't want when we're trying to prototype this would starts encroaching on other images so we just once you're done so we're left with this that is how i actually sized up all of these images here next thing i'm going to do now is to pick this image pick this image and come here and paste it sorry <laughs> this was actually selected that's the reason why it actually entered there so keep it here so that is how this some of these images that looks like this was actually gotten so this one we don't need to crop it we don't need to crop it but if you want to actually maintain a uniform background like we did here like we did here you may need to actually crop it because i would want you to maintain some level of consistency on your design and for now I will just leave it like this but if you want to crop it and give it a uniform background please go ahead and do that it will make your work turn out very nice but if you don't want to you can actually blend the whole design so it won't look so taggy i'm going to just now pick this one so you're going to find the top so go ahead and go to any online store and find i would i would recommend you should you you should not get some of these images that have a lot of stuff going around going on on the background like plenty maybe some pictures that was taken outdoor it's going to be very difficult for you to crop right because if you crop it it's not going to crop very well but if it's some kind of image that looks like this guy then you can actually crop it and it crops very well so you can see that everything was properly done for you the whole edges is very smooth so that's how this images was actually gotten and i'm going to delete this one just delete this guy we can actually keep this guy because we might still need it so now i'm going to now on this design okay might not need it now because to just prevent this video from being unnecessarily long the next thing i'm going to show you is i've seen a lot of people recreate that recreated the mobile version of this app they do one mistake and i'm going to correct it this is actually going to because this is actually cropped and we don't want to just do we don't we don't want this image or this design to look like you just picked the image and dropped it there it's gonna look so messy so what you're going to do is to make it look as if there is someone standing and the shadow effect is just stream probably on the left or on the right so to do this i'm going to get this stuff so just what i'm going to do now is to select all of them and add a tool layout just to space it yeah just to space it because i don't want to do it one by one so once you're done just ungroup it so they stay on their own get this guy out and uh, now the next thing i'm going to do is to go to this eclipse and draw an eclipse like this set this this way 
put it to the back make sure it looks as if it's standing not a full circle just this way something that looks of all shape yeah kind of come here and go to linear just gradient sorry so on linear we can set this to radio so for this we're going to assign it to the variable which is this one because that is the background we are using then for this other guy we are also going to assign it to a variable like this now once you're done let's test it and see how it looks so once you bring it like this you see the other background because we used 50 gray 50 it blends with the this background very well so once you're done it now looks as if that this person is this guy is actually standing on something but it's not so the only way you are going to do this to be more realistic is just to adjust this set this very well and we are going to check this this is on zero and uh, this is so this is zero so my just have to increase it to 100 and just leave it at zero so we're going to use this no this is too thick so i'm going to still maintain my 200 so once you have it like this we can actually select this and this so you see the reason why i actually asked you to crop the image because you cannot select once once you move this to the back you will struggle to select this shadow so once you're done just bring this out and uh, we're not going to use auto layout this time around we're just going to frame it so we're just going to frame it or you can actually use auto layout so i'm just going to select this and use auto layout so now if you use auto layout it's going to look like this so the next thing you're going to do is to set this to minus so we're going to set this to minus 30 for it to come up and uh, minus 40 for it to come up or we can just make this to be absolute and skip the whole drama of minus or plus because with absolute you can actually take it to the back now that is at the back you can actually move this inside but what's the whole point of making it auto layout right now because this is now absolute and these are not only out but yeah that's just one of those things so when we bring it inside here you may need to scale down but just make sure that your width and your height is not a fraction but if it's on fraction you can actually ignore it but on a real sense if you're des designing for real products that needs to be launched please try as much as possible to avoid your width and your height being on fraction just for development reasons because most times some developers or well, mo most times these things can't interpret or render very well so the reason that's the reason why we we'll avoid fraction so fraction is when this thing is at five two two points two zero or something like that so i'm just going to press key on my laptop and scale down so we scale to this very point and uh, let it stay here stay here right so look at this is now a fraction so we're just going to take it to the nearest whole number which is four three I'm just going to use four three five right so the same thing with the this because this is also going to be on fraction four three five four three five and uh, this one is uh, 45 let's check this three six three six five so once all that is done make sure to set this up once that is done the next thing we're going to do is to bring the next guy so to bring the next guy i'm just going to duplicate this one and bring it here or what you can do is just to select this select this duplicate it and bring it outside look at it here so set set it to the next guy duplicate again and bring it to this guy so we're going to duplicate duplicate 
duplicates so this one is already looking as if it's just standing in the air so that's the reason why we are actually doing this we don't want it to look as if it's just uh, floating i don't like such so i'm just going to select this and just going to use frame select and frame selection select and frame selection select and frame selection select and frame selection select and frame select and frame so there's one thing i want you to also be conscious of conscious of this name frame 410 so you should be conscious of this 4010 just be conscious of it because when you duplicate the screen this number might change and it will affect your smart animation so the best thing i'm going to do is to just label them by the color or anything just say this one should be this should be brown and this should be milk and this should be something like light green or army green kind of anything just to differentiate it from the rest so i'm just going to set this to white then this guy should be uh, this is a black guy so black and white and this one is a milk and white because we've used the milk so this guy should be black and black so now this very guy should also <laughs> i don't know what to call this guy now so we're just going to set this guy to be first so once you have this now you're safe you are safe from being messed up from smart animation so the next thing we're going to do now is to start bringing it inside here so once you bring it inside scale it down so i'm not going to pay much attention to the fraction because um we can deal with it right now so just set this guy make sure it doesn't enter into the the frame so i'm just going to pull it out then this guy look at the way they are actually stocked so this guy would also need to go down i'm just going to bring this guy here set this one here then get this guy here the next time next thing is this guy bring it here so this one stays close to this guy make sure it's not inside his frame make sure none of them is inside each other if it is you're not going to have a smooth animation so scale this guy down and we have it here so this is going to come here and this is this guy stays somewhere around here so this is the last guy so i'm just going to set this here so you see the way they actually arranged now looks as if they are standing on something if i didn't tell you you would think that this is how the image is but i'm a very detailed person i try as much as i can to make my designs as realistic as possible now the next thing i'm going to do is to try and see if we can close this gap because it's just kind of big so set this guy to this point and i'm also going to set this guy to this point then this guy increase this to this point yep so reducing this increasing this yeah more like it so you just make sure your arrangement is properly done so you just uh, yeah everything is now you can see the way it looks as if they are standing on something and if you want to spice things up we can actually just add some other things but i think that wouldn't be necessary or you can just set this copy this just different from what we have on the design but i'm just trying to test something out so get this guy to this point i'm going to take it to the back 
so no not looking nice so i'm just going to get rid of it yeah just tested that and it didn't work so the next thing i'm going to do is to blow this guy so we're just going to blow this guy so go to effects and set this to background blow and come here and set this to 200. This is the frame is this guy that we're supposed to do that. So set this guy to background blow and uh, background blow sets this to 200 and that did work. okay so what i used was uh, so what we're going to do now is to set this guy to layer blow so set it to layer blow and 200 is too much we're going to use 20 yeah more like it layer blow and uh, we use 10 because that's the next so for this one so i'm just going to set this to five then set this guy to ten so it looks something like this now the next thing we're going to do is to just stack up this one so i'm just going to duplicate this and bring out so there's something i actually did here look at what i did i'm going to unclip this all the clues we are stacked up inside that's why when this one moves up this I actually go so that's the way you can actually do this so then to do this what I'm going to do let's assume I actually have this shirt so this is the shirt just bring it out then we have just trying to show you how I actually recreated this so I'm just going to type black shirt black t-shirt then duplicate this and bring it here i'm going to add the pounds sorry yeah point five nine so once that is done i'm going to set this to semi bold this guy should be 16 and this stays here now if you're struggling with auto layout i'm going to show you what you're going to do you're going to, going to hit plus does it so get it out so we'll have this plus here and we can set this to 36 so what we're going to do now if you're struggling and you're trying to walk or master auto layout this is what you're going to do select this guys and come here right click go to this place more layout option suggest auto layout so if i hit suggest auto layout look at what happened it will add auto layout for this and it's just pretty fantastic it's a one new features that figma just added or just basically one of those features that i just nearly discovered on how you can actually use it to fast track your designs and uh, you can actually select this and say suggest auto layout and it actually is amazing to be honest so once you do that select this and i'm going to give um 20 down and here we can now add a few of whites so that's how this was actually created so there is something i actually did which were adding a stroke and the stroke uh, yep the stroke color is uh gray hundred so at the end of the day we have something that looks like this and we can now duplicate duplicate and duplicate and duplicate so once you just get any image assuming you just got this image once you duplicate it you got an image because this look at it this is just a full image what you now do is to just drag it and move it inside here and delete this one before you do this make sure that the image you're bringing inside is 
of the same width and height if not it's not going to enter inside you may have to copy and paste so do the same thing here i'm just going to pick this one duplicate and bring it out so now take this guy in and delete this so there's one funny thing that actually happened here because this is just image and i'm using this weight and i want to be consistent with my weight and my height so the next thing i'm going to do now is to just add auto layout on this and i'm going to set this to fill right so once it's on fill select this one and just adjust it because i want it to look as if it's in the center so what you're going to do is set this to fixed before you do that so if you notice that that is happening just set that to fixed so that it will not move so once you set this here i think this is better you may need to open it up yeah better so once that is done we can actually set this to center now pick this color and fill this so we're going to fill this frame come here and pick select the color picker and pick it so here everything is now properly aligned so it said so there's something that is here we need to also open this up very well i don't know my eye is very sharp <laughs> i spot mistakes easily not all the time i'm a human being i'm not a robot so i'm um, going to i've actually shown you how you can actually boycott this and design faster so do the same thing here because i think the buttons are just straight like this so if you encounter anything like that you may need to use this one but for t-shirts you use this one so once you're done you just change the names and all those other stuff <sighs> sorry about that you change the name and um, select all of them make sure you are matching this with what you are showing so okay this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to change all of them before i frame it so we've done this one so this needs to come on top and this needs to stay here so once we have this because this is the bottom so i'm just going to delete this one i'm going to use the bottom here and bring it here so select this guy duplicate it bring it into this one get this guy out you see those stuff that i said if you're not careful you're going to make a mistake then delete this guy so now select this one duplicate this one bring it out then set it inside here then get this guy out so for this guy we're going to use we're going to use the next one bring it here and we're going to duplicate this then bring it inside here get rid of this one then here we're going to duplicate this one bring it here then put it inside here get this guy out so you see how fast auto layout can make your work to be so i'm just going to duplicate this one bring it here select this one and push it inside here move this guy out so all these steps are very important please do not skip them so i'm just going to set up this one for here then this is what i'm going to duplicate and put it right here so the next one is white so duplicate bring the white inside and duplicate this one so i need to just fill this set this guy duplicate it bring this one out and put it here then delete so the last oh it's not the last this is quite much so just going to 
duplicate this bring it aside here i think this is the same thing with this one but i'm just going to do it so this this delete then this one so i'm just going to get rid of this sorry i think that's the one we need to use delete this one get this guy here duplicate and bring this here then get this guy out so you see now we have the same thing select all of them and add auto layout so we're going to maintain the same gap that we maintained here so the gap that we used here is 15 so i used 15 and i'm going to set this to 15. yep so once that is done we can actually use 20 as pardon then make sure to bring things out so some of them actually hogged uh were set automatically set on fuel so before we do that let's correct that start, that mistake select this select everything here and let it not be on fuel just set it to fixed weights so that once you just set a particular pattern on this it actually stays like this so we're going to set this to hog then here we're going to do the same thing 20 and set this to fuel so now we have white so once you have this we are now going to just close it up to this very point you can now bring inside so you see once that is done make sure this is on the center yeah so we have this and we can actually post this here then clip content so when you clip on it you're not going to see another thing again so that's it for alignment so because this is a fashion app i try as much as possible to not use corner radius because most times fashion apps or fashion website they don't use corner radius and i don't know why but i think it makes it look more fashion <laughs> so if there's anything like that so once i have said that there's something we didn't do we didn't add this um favorite stuff so i'm going to just maybe no okay, i'm going to put it so what i'm going to do now is to just unclip to set this here then we're going to pick one so the fastest way to do it is copy this because this is absolutes make sure to test try it with the first one paste so yeah it's absolute so but if it's not what i'm going to do just to show you because some people might get confused so get a feather icon i would like to use the heart on iconify so i'm just going to search for hearts so we use this black so this is on 24 i'm going to say 28 so once it's 28 now look at what is going to happen it's going to misbehave so it's going to be out of alignment because it's utterly out what i'm going to do now is to just make sure that this is absolute so once it's absolute I'm going to use the alignment option to bring it out. So we're going to set this to or you can actually use your hand to place it where you want it to be. So once you're good with it, just copy it, copy, then select the rest of these guys and paste. So it's now inside there so now that we are done we can just click content then move this back inside so we're going to call this panel
right so we just call this panel and bring this inside now this is actually the reason why i used this background because this and this is off so what i'm going to do is to set this guy i'm going to unlink this pick this and set it to the same background so it's just going to be kind of uniform right so once you have that we can we can actually try to see if we can have a color reduce on some of this stuff so i'm just oh So just unclip it. So it's went is we actually pulled out the wrong frame. Yeah, so the right frame we ought to have pulled out is this one because there's this frame here and this panel. So we need to pull the panel out. So now select everything here and let's see if we could just add a little corner reduce to it. So we're just going to say five. So once it's five, oh sorry. Once we've added the corner reduce, we need to clip the content because if you clip it, that's when you will see the corner reduce in action. So once you're done with that, it's time to move it inside. Set this bright. So once you're done with this, the next thing you're going to do once you're comfortable with this is to start duplicating it duplicate this one and move it for for the bit so i'm going to now set this guy out of the screen so we're going to check how this one behave so once you drag this once you drag this it says it moves out so now we are going to just just gradually move it out I think a lot of people actually make this mistake of dragging this because if you drag it you're going to actually move it or drag it inside a frame and that's not nice so when you drag it into a frame your smart animation is not gonna be smooth you're going to be having this overlaying effect when this smart animation is working so as i'm talking to you i'm actually moving this so i'm just trying to use it to buy time so, but we learn every day so the reason why you use the move on your keyboard is so that your smart animation is going to be smooth to be on the safe side now you can actually release your hand the reason why you're going to release your hand is because i know that by this time this is out so you can actually move it out right like this but when it's here if i drag it it might enter inside the frame here and it will mess up the work so the next thing we're going to do is to select this guy select it here and i think it's time for me to go up here so select this guy select me up this is brown and this guy is uh, i'm going to select white so i wonder why this guy is not inside his frame so you see it so here is going to be a very big problem when we we'll try to animate it now i'm going to just go back to make sure that this guy is also inside the frame see so this is the frame and the brown here this guy is not inside that frame so i'm just going to you see that you drag this and move it inside here or you just leave it or just copy it and paste so now it's inside this frame so if we try moving this all of them are together now so the next thing we're going to do is to also try as much as possible to move this guy out now there's something we need to do before we move it out because something changed we're going to go back to select this hold your control or command option to select the background select it select this and we're going to open this so you see this one upgrade 50 we're going to unlink it then use this and pick this one so it looks yeah it's not looking better so what we're going to do we're going to do the same thing here so because we've not moved we're going to delete this one and bring this one here so now it's time to actually duplicate this so this is the one we're going to work with so now on this part we're going to 
move this guy out so please use the move tool to move this very well so i'm just going to make sure that it's completely goes out of the screen before i drag it if you drag it before moving out of the screen it will enter into a, a frame and that will not be nice so now i think at this point is off the screen so here okay is not off so we have these at some point here so it's off the screen so now you can actually drag it out so once he is here you can now move these guys so select this cell sorry guys select this and select this and this so not first So why am I selecting first? Okay, first is this one that we just moved out. Hence the reason why it's been selected. So I'm just going to move this one forward. So to do that, what I'm going to do, because we don't want to go off alignment, I'm just going to select all of them and scale it up. Then bring it further. We don't want to do double job. So once you're done, just press V. The next thing we're going to do is to just make sure we align them properly now bring this guy i think it's time we delete this bring this guy and scale it down make sure it's standing somewhere here and uh, We're going to add effects and we use layer blur and set this to 20. Then this guy would now be off layer blur and this one would be somewhere in 10 and just 5. And this one will be somewhere 10. Then there's another thing that you need to do because this guy needs to move smoothly we we'll have to copy it and paste it here so once it's here send it to the back and we're going to just gradually move it off the screen so you're going to have a very smooth animation so the next thing you're going to do is to select this because it's an auto layout it's an auto layout you might now remove it from auto layout so i'm just going to remove auto layout remove auto layout then the next thing we're going to do is just hit enter so once you hit enter you can now move this up you may consider changing this to like 25 so we have it here right so do the same thing here change this to 25 so it doesn't matter if this one is an auto layout and this guy is not an auto layout because the reason why i actually did that is so we can we'll be able to move it up so now if we select this if we select this and prototype and link it to this one and say on drag we say gentle then if we select this and drag it back on drag gentle so if it will even select this and drag up and we select this and we we'll select this one and drag down it would actually give us this one so now i'm going to just select and preview so here is the preview bring myself to the center and just close this so what we're going to do is to fit the width and the height so this is it so if you, you see that is length so if i move this guy you see it's this is actually going up so 
now is off the screen and if i drag this one out it's coming out you see how the thing is smooth i'm going to move this guy out so you can actually see how this guy moves in so drag this off and this guy in so i wouldn't advise you to use gentle so what we are going to do is to select everything here all the prototypes here on drag set this to slow and we can use uh, 700 so it will move in smoothly so here we just you see it it moves smoothly so i would prefer to use slow in this case now you see the way it moves and if you drag this up if you drag this up okay yeah it works then if you drag this down this one comes in see how smooth it is so we're going to do one more screen and you're going to go ahead and use that pattern and design other screens so i'm going to set this one here bring it closer so now we're going to duplicate this particular screen once we have this screen here we can now set this guy select this guy so it's time to move myself up again select this one look at it here so we're going to select black and white okay so we we'll set army green we we'll select milk and we we'll select whites we we'll select uh, white so the other guy is off so we don't need to select it again so the next thing we're going to do i think before we do this we need to just move this guy out of the screen because that's his turn to go out so just keep moving keep moving don't rush don't drag it just move you see the way we actually achieved a smooth dragging effect that's just how i want you to also come up with your own smooth drag effect if you move or if you drag this thing and drag it inside a frame you're not going to have that smooth movement because if it enters into a frame we're using smart animates figma smart animation is just such an idiot sorry to use that word but it cannot figure out what you have in your mind and it has a mind of its own so hence the reason why it can actually behave <laughs> the way it wants but to avoid that you need to set these things right so now it's time to move this guy off the screen so select this guy select the army green select the white and select the brown so we we'll leave the brown out to we'll select this we we'll select uh, this so once you're done we're going to get this guy up so the next thing to do is to remove the stuff we have on this guy the spell we casted on him and set this one to five the next one is going to be ten so this is the next guy so i'm just going to scale this guy down and he will just be inside here make sure he's not taller than the the next guy so once we have it here and uh, this guy needs to be a bit taller so we just have to add some height add some respect so once that is done then this guy will now be the one to take the layer blow of 10 now copy this one come here and paste it make sure it goes to the back and move it outside the screen we need to hide it so we can also scale this down to this point and hide it so once that is done is off please don't drag it from this point because if you drag it to enter this to this the next frame just leave it that way so once we have this done we are now going to select this because there's a, there's double frames inside so what we're going to do is to hit enter and uh, we're going to push this up push this up to this very point
yep so once you have it so what it this means is that this and this is what this guy is wearing so you're seeing the clothes and you're seeing the fitting so you're seeing this clothes you're seeing the model that is actually wearing it you see how it actually looks on someone's or woman's body so you, it can actually increase purchasing power <laughs> um yeah it could encourage people to purchase more it can increase conversion yeah i know but um, sorry for running into 2049 <laughs> so the next thing i'm going to do yeah we just have to crack some joke and move forward the next thing i'm going to do now is to select this prototype make sure there is none that is linked here so i'm just going to break every form of prototypes on this place and just remove it so any other one here nope so the next thing i'm going to do is to if i drag this guy if i drag this guy on drag slow 700 then if i drag this one further on drag slow then if i drag this on drag slow now if we go back and say we we'll move this one that's one two so you see the way it's then this one we we'll move this guy we we'll move this guy so you see the way the outfit is actually rolling the reason why it's rolling is because we'll stack all of them up make sure you stack all of them up because if you start adding it when you've duplicated the screen it's not gonna work this way so we have to try it again move out then move out then we're going to move this guy and move this guy so we can actually use this and use this so here we didn't prototype this one so we need to actually go to this and prototype this if we drag it up on drag if we drag it up it should also give us this so now if we drag this one up you see it it gives this guy so when you move this guy down you can actually scroll both sides that's just what i'm trying to uh, apply here so now that we have this the next screen i'm going to show you how i actually designed is this one because i actually called it up it's just pretty much very easy so i kind of switched things up so i'm just going to duplicate this duplicate this and here is just a stack of all the clothes that we have here all the clothes that we have here we just duplicate this and put it here and now i'm going to select everything here select this one and just move it out select this one and move it out then just move this guy off so here you see the style 300 3860 styles then one of one to 20 of 36 pages so here is sorts here is future here is just different modes if you want to switch to list and if you want to switch to grid you use this one i'm going to show you how i actually created this then we can now <laughs> do this uh, so this one there's some effect that i actually added on this one so this is what i'm going to say i'm just going to use 450 styles that's one duplicate bring it here and i'm going to say one to 20 of 36 so once that is done i'm going to duplicate it again and just bring it here i'm just going to say sort by sort by and i'm going to duplicate it again and uh, now filter so once that is done, we are going to bring all of these icons out. So we use a feather icon. So this is one, this is two, and uh, this is three. 
and we're going to find this so i'm just going to come here and type list so look at it and i'll type grid so look at it now we're done so get grid here get list here so the list i'm going to frame first then add auto layout then here do the same thing frame first and add auto layout the reason why i'm actually going to frame is because these things have vectors so if you add if i add auto layout on the frame that con that houses the vector everything that is inside all the vectors will just either set to fill hog and other stuff so i don't want those kind of drama hence the reason why i frame vectors then add auto layout if that makes sense so here i'm going to select the two of them and we're going to just set 10 and uh, 10. now that is like this i'm just going to add auto layout so both of them are now on auto layout so select this guy and just set it to black then the black we set it to white then this guy do the same thing set the fill to gray 50 then this will set this to black so in my next video i'm going to teach you how to like work with some of these variables and some micro interactions so please make sure to hit the subscribe button because i'm going to be showing you how to create some micro interactions in figma and how to animate these things it's super amazing you would like it you would love it i trust me you're going to like it so just make sure to hit the subscribe button because that's actually what keeps me going and that's just the uh, no kind of part of my back to say hey job well done just keep bringing these videos and if you actually like what you're saying please make sure to drop a comment on the videos you would like to see drop it on the comment section and also like share and subscribe yeah so now we're going to go back to our design and i'm going to bring these filters here and uh, this one this one stays right here i'm just going to select this and max two of them up just auto layout here duplicate this one set it here then next stuff we're going to get is the sort option sort icon and this one i actually got this from iconify so i'm going to say sort to get the first one out so which is this one so put it here then this guy we're going to say settings i think that's where i have that so i'm just going to say settings yeah look at it here so it's out i know where i got my icons from so for this one uh, if we try the suggest auto layout, let's see what happens. So more suggest auto layouts. Yeah, it worked fine. So here we're going to call, select everything and say more options suggest auto layouts, right? So here we can now say auto layout. So feel free to try out the suggest auto layout. And the good thing is that it aligns it properly for you, 100%. So we're going to select these two. What's the height of this? This is, we're going to set this to 45. Just set it to 50. Select the stuffs inside and set few. Sorry. Set this to few and set this to 45 right so now i'm going to do the same thing here i'm going to set this to 45 and i'm going to add 20 as the pardon we're going to add a stroke and the stroke is going to be 100 so i'm going to expand it sorry 
just expand a bit yep so for this guy the same thing 45 make sure it's down set this to auto add 20 now just increase this a bit stroke now i'm going to select this and fill so select everything here and add the layout now i'm going to select here and add the layout so once we have this on auto layout we're going to just open this guy what's the width of this one So once we set this, we can actually just say whole content, then we just give it 20, then 25, right? So this gap, we're going to close it up from 40 to 30. Yeah, I think this way is much better. So let's see, yeah, we have, um, a stroke so give stroke on the bottom and uh, set it to neutral 100 so that's how we actually got this so the next thing I'm going to do is to the, the the best you can do is just to select this one and bring it out because this is the one that is not only totally out then we can actually just pull it inside here so you may want to increase this to this very point stretch this to this very point and now i'm going to use the wrap <laughs> so once i set it to wrap it looks like this fantastic right so yeah we have other ones here so because we have um one one that is just off so if i on clip this you see this one so i'm just going to just make it four or just like this yeah so now this guy would now go inside here so you feel free to change all of these images to something else if you want so select this to this guy give it a feel of white then select these two select these two and add auto layout now that we've added auto layout so this is what we're going to do because there's a lot of layout on this one look at what happens here if i come here and uh, revert this to the original one and i click here sorry this is the previous one i want if i click here this should come up this should come up so i'm going to what i'm going to do now is to copy this copy this particular frame copy it then delete this guy then select this one and duplicate it then paste it inside there now we're going to just set this to the bottom then make sure that this is properly centered properly now copy this whole panel and come here and paste it to right now move it gradually out of the screen now once it's out of the screen just drag it out oh you see just drag it yeah let it stay like this so the next thing you're going to do now is to select this one and uh, i'm going to go to prototype and say scroll vertical now what i'm going to do now is to go to prototype for this i'm just going to say none then here i'm going to just say on drag 
on drag not slow so now we're going to use uh, custom so what we're going to do now is to just set this guy here and set this guy here set this to one one thousand so much better that's the one i used so if i click on this too it should do the same thing on click custom visa and all that so but this one is on drag so now if we go here and click this i'm just going to bring myself down if we go here and click this you see what happens so you see the way it kind of comes up that's what i actually wanted to achieve so from here you can actually scroll up now you see this thing let's go and correct it so to fix this collect uh click this and clip contents now if you're scrolling it will now go inside so you see now let's go and fix this to fix this most cases if you add um this uh vertical pattern it doesn't work so what we're going to do now is uh vertical pattern it doesn't work so what we're going to do now is to just just kind of draw here and just push it inside here then move it down to the very last so look at it there then set it to white so now if you scroll this up you see you will now get this space here then when you scroll down so now when we get to this point we just drag this out open this one up so we check some of the things here i think i've literally covered all the things that i did so you can actually prototype this and this screen this screen this screen and this screen and this one so you can actually prototype it it's pretty much very easy so use what you've learned to make as much pages you want if you want to create up to 10 you can actually create up to 10 but please make sure to follow the pattern that i've shown you guys make sure to also hit the subscribe button if you have any questions make sure to drop it on the comment section i'll just be there watching to attend all the questions that you have now i uh, want you to create something that looks much better than what i have actually shown you guys or pretty much very close to what i've shown you recreate it share it on linkedin feel free to tag me to give you my feedback or you can share it on twitter and feel free to tag me and i will definitely give you my feedback the reason why you should actually embrace micro interactions or functional design is because it's just the feature that's where we're heading to we're moving away from boring steel designs lots of screens to actually bring in all the screens together to show you how it actually behaves the experience and all the behaviors around the app hence the reason why you should actually embrace functional designs or interactive design which is pretty much very fun and easier during when you're going to be conducting some of your user testing or you're presenting your idea to the stakeholders it will be very easy to digest remember prototype is the voice of every ux designer and i'm going to be seeing you on my next video feel free to share like and comment and also please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'm going to see you in my next video bye for now